Well, the journey to the nation's capital begins for President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. On the eve of his inauguration, Biden and his wife Jill have arrived in Washington. Tonight, the president-elect attended a ceremony at the Field of Flags on the National Mall in honor of the American people who have died in the coronavirus pandemic. Today, a practice motorcade giving us a glimpse of what's planned for tomorrow. Security ahead of the inauguration is at unprecedented levels following that deadly attack on the Capitol less than two weeks ago. More than 25,000 National Guard soldiers are there alongside federal agents, state and local police. As WCNC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes reports, the Carolinas are well represented among those providing security for tomorrow's transfer of power. Lots of that security support is coming from here in the Charlotte area, including dozens of officers from CMPD that have gone up to Washington, D.C. to help try to keep the inauguration safe. There's also hundreds of National Guards men and women, and now we're learning more about what they're doing and seeing while they're up there. On the eve of the inauguration, the streets of D.C. eerily quiet. It's different. Um, I think the word that we keep hearing is unprecedented. Um, that uh, we have this much support up here. 25,000 National Guards men and women walking the streets, patrolling the Capitol, preparing for the transition of power. 300 of North Carolina's National Guards men and women are among them. Our role is to support the metros, make sure that, the, so, that um, anyone coming to the event has freedom of movement. They're joined by the South Carolina National Guard, as well as dozens of members of CMPD and 40 Mecklenburg County Sheriff's deputies. Read the papers, you know, the intel tells you a lot, but then it's also that lone wolf is out there or somebody who wants, wants to make a statement. So we have to be cautious. The North Carolina Guard has been training to protect a political event ever since a large scale RNC was supposed to happen in Charlotte. For, you know, the RNC, the Republican National Convention, we had over 500 uh, security force personnel that were ready to go for that. That never really amounted to much. The Guard hoping the same will be said for the inauguration threats. Our goal is to make sure that this is a peaceful process. But the lieutenant colonel says they're ready for anything. And they're positive. They're, the morale is high. Um, this is kind of like them being able to come to the game, to be able to show what they can do. So one of the concerns is that the threat could be coming from within the people who are supposed to be there protecting and serving. We know of several incidents of National Guardsmen who were actually removed from their post. The lieutenant colonel says that all of his men and women have been thoroughly vetted and he feels confident they'll be continuing their mission. Reporting in Steel Creek, I'm Tanya Mendes, WCNC Charlotte.